Alright guys, so this is Mr. Flexi and I bought my new power amp and this is named as Miko B64. It's a 4 channel power amplifier. This is a very good power amp for my for me. The size the the weight the size and the weight, the size and all this weight is just fine for my preference. And it's not that heavy and it's not that light and it's my favorite. And we have here some fancy power switch over there. So let me head over to the back part and let me discuss to you what I found out. Phew, that was really heavy. So what we have in the back here is some triple fan. I think it's an 80mm fan if I'm not mistaken. It is like for the computer and this has a, um, a fan protector so it would not stop the fan from turning. And it's an intake fan from the back. And we have here is some very very thick power cord this is a very good thing as its quality and here is we have the accessories and connectors at the back so let me get into that all right so this is the back part of our Mikkel pd 6x4 and what we have here is um, a TRS combo jack so you can use a 3-pin XLR and a TRS or the phono TRS jack, you know that already. So it's it has one, two, three, four, four inputs, and we have here is some four outputs. So channel two and channel four has this bridge function. So if you want to, if you want to use this on bridge mode, you would use the speaker outputs. And we have here is some stereo. So we have here is a mode select switch. So stereo com and bridge. I think COM is the link, I don't know, I haven't tried yet. And here is our input sensitivity, 0 0.775 volts, 1 volts, and 1.4 volts. So we have here is some ground and lift connector, so you could change for operation mode. And this is this has a 600 watt times 4, it's 4 channel, it's a 4 channel amplifier. And we have here is some speak on output, so you could use your speak on post. To connect your speaker to this amplifier and we have here is some fuse so when it's burned you would just check this if it won't turn on or most probably it could be in protected mode so here there is the there is a sign dangerous high voltage so it's a really high voltage amplifier yes also with the speaker output it's really dangerous even though it's a standby of course it still has the power to just shock you here is our link so there's one two three if you see that and here is the input 213. So that is the wiring when it's an input, and if it's a link, it has 123. So I really don't know. I haven't tried it. So that's all for the back part of our M of our PD664. So let me show you the power on and we'll see its performance later. If it would be enough for a good sound system. So this one is my other power amp and this is a lot more um, unheavy as you can see I can do this <laughs> well with the other power amp I can't do that okay so that's more lighter but the power is more less of course that's the um, to call us price performance ratio the more price it is the more performance and thank you guys for watching and that's my review of my core channel new power amp thing make sure to subscribe guys if you haven't and hit the notification bell and so you can see a lot of more videos from Mr. Flexi and yes well guys in terms of weight this thing is so crazy it is like I tried to carry this on my back oh oh, oh, oh this is really heavy Oh no, oh no, oh no. <sighs> so heavy. Alright, guys. So the Miko PD6X4 looks like this. When you powered it up, it would look like this. Hmm, pretty good smelling fan. So let's try how loud this thing could be. So, 
to test it out our system so I'm gonna be using this my power amp before so it's a mono power amp so it's also rated at I think 750 watts at 4 ohms and 375 watt RMS at 8 ohms so let me try to check this out so we're gonna be doing some base tests and we'll see comparison between the two if there's a really significant um, differences between their sound pressure level so let me just turn on our system and let me play some beats and let's see using an SPL meter to see who's better Test for our bay amp and um, mono amp, and so we get 114.3 decibel. So we get our next on this four channel power amp, and let's see how good this thing is. And now, for the moment of truth that we've been waiting for, I'm gonna be powering on this power amp and make sure that the volume is a maximum volume. Just kidding, so let me play the song first. Okay, there should be sound. Let me increase the volume. C mode. Okay, so we get 117 and it's more louder than that. So thank you for watching guys. And that's the short review of our comparison between our new power amp versus the power amp I had before.